Hey guys, what's up? Austin Smith here with a review of the Coast A5 LED mini flashlight or pocket flashlight. I don't know exactly what they call it. Put that to the side and take a look at the box for a second. Um, this box seems to be fairly generic, especially since it's just got a sticker on it. Uh, there's not much to the outside there. It's a little uh, sealing tape that you can slit there, open it up, and there's a little foam insert that had the clip, the battery, and the light itself in there. Uh, there's just a uh, little bit of information about the light there. Da -da, da -da. Focus, focus. It says uh, 26 lumens, which uh, doesn't really mean anything to me. 7 hours and 15 minutes, and you have a 20 foot beam distance. Uh, it's an inspection light, that's what it is. I'll put the silica gel packet in there. And then you get this little sort of mini catalog thing uh, that talks about all the different Coast products. Anyway, here's the light itself with the clip attached. I have the feeling that the clip is a uh, a sep was from a separate flashlight or is just a generic clip because it doesn't really go with the motif. Now I spent a long time looking for a flashlight that was exactly what I wanted. What I wanted was one AAA. I wanted a smooth barrel. I didn't want knurling or anything that looked kind of tactical. Preferably stainless steel. Black would have worked as well. And I wanted a clicky switch on the back. And uh, I wanted to be proud, although that is not true in this case, it is one thing that I was able to, I was willing to compromise on, and I wanted to be as thin as possible. I'm getting, I got this to replace a mag light solitaire. Mag light solitaires are even thinner than this, but that's because they have a twist mechanism. This is about as thin as you're going to get uh, if you're using a push button mechanism, which is slightly more complicated and uh, requires a bit of a thicker barrel. It is fairly fairly thin in hand still. The one AAA battery screws into the front like that. Comes with one. That works. I have used this for several months now and uh, have had uh, no problems with it running out. I'm not running out at night and using it all night though. Uh, so I'm just using it around the house to see when something falls behind something, if I get up late at night and gotta go to the fridge, gotta go to the sink, something like that, uh, this is the light for that. And so I'm not using it particularly strenuously, but I have dropped it a few times. It does go with me everywhere. It's in my EDC, hanging off the side with the little clip. And uh, it has uh, given me no problems so far. The beam is almost perfectly round. Um, if you can see that, it gets, obviously it gets bigger. There's almost... Uh, it's fairly even lighting, which is nice. It gets a little bit brighter uh, in the center and a little bit bluer around the edges. But other than that, it's it's pretty uh, pretty even, pretty true to life colors. It does wash things out a little bit, makes things a little bit white, um, just by the nature of the LED that's in there. Looking up here, we have the little lens there. You got the front end. A red band, which I'm not a fan of, but seems to be just a Coast thing. You got the Coast A5 logo and name there. That should be enough to at least tell you what the thing is. Uh, very hard to read though in the stainless steel, which I, you know, uh, I don't dislike it. I like the fact that it's very subtle. I, I prefer that much better to like Coast, just loudly printed here. So there's that. The clip is snug. As you can see, I'm not actually moving it, I'm moving the flashlight. Oh, there we go, moved it a little bit. Um, it twists, and you can get it to slide up and down, should you want to. Um, I'm going to probably slide it off. Pops on pretty easy. Uh, you can't slide it on, uh, I found. Or you probably could slide it on. It's very difficult to slide on, and it's not particularly easy to slide off either. Carry it around all, all the time, just hanging off the side of a uh, belt and the uh, clip has not pulled up yet so it is on there very securely even the very smooth stainless steel the switch up here can be depressed as a temp thing though I don't know why you would do that and it is very clicky there is a little lip up around the, uh, the switch here that uh, 
you kind of have to get your finger in. I prefer, like I say, a proud switch because I'm not going to shove this in my pocket and have it accidentally go off or anything like that. But I can understand sort of why there's a bit of a raised area there. Might try and grind that off, uh, but it hasn't really bothered me so far, so i uh, got no problems with it. Uh, I think my thumb fits in there quite nicely and can easily activate the switch, no problem. So can my forefinger. So the, the raised area, uh, while slightly inconvenient and it hurts my hand just a little bit, isn't bad. It also allows you to do that, although as you can see it's not really designed to stand up like that. Uh, it does sort of wobble a little bit. Uh, if you wanted to uh, have this attached to a cap or something, you could also slide the clip off and pop it on backwards, and so you could attach it to your cap, turn it on, and have it be a light that you could uh, hang from your hat to see where you're going. This um, is a bit heavy for that though, so if, it, uh, if it's a baseball cap or something like that, that would probably work. However, some of the uh, less rigid uh, cap brims would probably uh, sag with this on it, so it's not ideal for that. It is entirely stainless steel. Uh, there's no modes or anything, which is also something I like. I just want a flashlight that turns on and off. That is my preference. So, for me, this flashlight is perfect. However, for most people, uh, most people want something that looks a bit cooler. Most people want some grip. This is pretty grippy. Uh, I have not lost it in my hand yet, especially with the clip. It kind of gives you just enough to hold it in the hand. Uh, and it's heavy. It's, it's the right enough balance that it's not heavy, it's going to slip out of your hand, it's not so light you don't feel like you're holding it. So it, it's pretty good in the hand. It's, it's really basic. If you want a basic light that doesn't shine very far, doesn't shine very bright, but is, a, is sturdy, like I say, I've dropped it a few times, and uh, nothing particularly bad has happened. Don't drop your flashlights though, that's not recommended. But um, it's just a circle, it's just one color, just one mode. Not particularly bright, but bright enough to to see uh, in your house and uh, in and around the house if you just need a quick flashlight. If that's what you're looking for, I think this is a very good light. Uh, it is very sort of sleek and stylish looking. It sort of matches technology in some ways. Um, the slick new phones and stuff that's coming out. It's not tactical at all though. If you're looking for a tactical light, this is definitely not that. However, I was not looking for a tactical light. And I really like this one. It's a good, hardy little inspection light, and uh, I would definitely recommend it for that. Bye.